Welcome to Werribee. Werribee has a population of 40,345 as of the 2016 census. The postcode is 3030. The area is big, 23.8 square kilometers. Location is 32 kilometers from Melbourne CBD. The density, which is the number of people per certain area, which is square kilometers, so it's 1695, 1695 per square kilometers. So even though it's quite big, the area, um, the density is only 1700. Well, it's not too bad comparing to Footscray, for example, that has over 3000 um, square kilometers density. Um, because the area is actually small, smaller compared to Werribee. Local government is Wyndham. Surrounding suburbs, Wyndham Vale, Tarnit, Hoppers Crossing, Werribee South and Point Cook. Werribee is situated on the Werribee River, approximately halfway between Melbourne and Geelong. It is the administrative centre of the city of Wyndham local government and it's actually the city's most populous area. Werribee is part of the Greater Melbourne metropolitan area and is included in the capital's population statistical division. Some of the tourist attractions in Werribee are Werribee Park, the Victoria State Rose Garden, Werribee Park National Equestrian Centre, and the Werribee Open Range Zoo. Regarding the historical background of Werribee, listen to Google Home. According to Wikipedia, the name derived from a suggestion by the owner of a local village in Elliot Armstrong, who sought to honor Scottish soldier Sir Henry Wyndham. The post office opened on the 12th of January 1858 as Wyndham and was renamed Werribee in 1904. In terms of public transport, there are two railway stations in the area. Werribee Rail Station and Hoppers Crossing Rail Station. There is also an extensive bus network with interchanges at uh, Werribee Station, Wyndham Vale Station, Tani Station, Pacific Werribee and Hoppers Crossing Station. Now with cycling, um, Wyndham City Council is actually one of the highest spending council when it comes to bicycle infrastructure. Um, the major trails in Werribee or in the area are Federation Trail from Werribee River to Millers Road in Altona North and Werribee River Trail from Davis Creek in Tarnay, connecting the Federation Trail and continuing towards the Werribee Park. There's a number of schools in the area, primary, secondary and even tertiary. Some of them are Werribee Primary, St. Andrews Primary, Corpus Christi Primary, Glen Davin Primary, now merged with Glen Orden, Wyndham Park Primary, Heathdale Christian College, Bethany Catholic Primary, West Grove Primary, Manor Vale Primary, Thomas Jane Side Primary, Cambridge Primary School, West Grove Primary School, now secondary. Werribee Secondary College, Macalup Catholic Regional College, Heathdale Christian College, Suzanne Corey High School, Wyndham Central College. Now, tertiary, Victoria University, Werribee Campus, Goulburn Ovens Institute of TAFE, University of Melbourne, Faculty of Vet Science, University of Notre Dame. Now with some stats. The male to female ratio is 49.1% to 50.9%. Median age 36. Families 10,618. Private dwellings 15,911. Average people per household 2.7. The median weekly household income 1,304. The median monthly mortgage repayments one thousand four hundred and fifty. The median weekly rent two hundred and seventy seven. Now educational level, the highest level of education attainment, bachelor degree level and above, fourteen point eight percent, 
compared to the Victorian average of 24.3 and Australian average of 22. The, if you go to certificate 3, 14.1% compared to Victoria 11.5% and Australia 12.8%. Year 12, 15.6% compared to Victoria 15.9% and Australia 15.7%. Now, ancestry, top responses are English 21.4% compared to Victoria 226 and Australia 25 Australian 20.7% compared to Victoria 21.1 and Australia 23.3%. Irish 6.7% compared to Victoria 7.6 and Australia 7.6. Country of birth Australia 62.6 compared to Victorian average of 64.9 and Australia 66.7. Other responses are India 4.5 compared to Victoria 2.9 and Australia 1.9. England 2.8 compared to Victoria 2.9 and Australia 3.9. Country of birth of parents, so both parents born overseas, uh, above average which is 42.2% compared to Victoria 38.5 and Australia 34.4. Both parents born in Australia, 40% compared to Victoria, 44.1 and Australia, 47.3. Now, religion. There's a lot of Catholic here. 28.7 compared to Victorian average of 23.2 and Australian average of 22.6. No religion stated, 25% compared to Victoria, 31.7 and Australia, 29.6%. Languages, top responses other than English. Karen, hmm, 3.4% compared to Victoria, 0.1%, and Australia, 0%. Italian, 2.9% compared to Victoria, 1.9%, and Australia, 1.2%. Punjabi, 1.9% compared to 0.9% in Victoria and 0.6% in Australia. Now, employment. Those who work full-time, 57.5% compared to Victorian average of 57 and Australia 57.7. Unemployed, a little bit above average, 8.8% compared to Victoria 6.6 .6 and Australia 6.9. Now with occupation, I can see that there's almost even distribution of professionals and non-professionals. So if we start with clerical and admin workers, 15.1%, technicians and trade workers, 15.1%, professionals, 14.1%, machinery and operators, 11.8%, laborers, 11.5%, community and personal service workers, 11.4%, sales workers, 10.1%, and managers, 9.2%. So this is almost not skewed to certain professions so in a way be you probably find you know representation from different um, occupation industries now, the comparison of median weekly incomes so personal 592 compared to Victoria 644 and Australia 662 so it's a little bit below average family income 1502 compared to Victoria 1715 and Australia 1734. Household income 1304 compared to Victoria 1419 and Australia 1438. Now with the travel to work, I would expect that people would use car because it's a little bit far out from the city. So travel to work using car as a driver 67.2% compared to Victoria 61.8 and Australia 61.5 train 6.7 percent compared to Victoria 5.8 and Australia 4.6 now the employment status of parents in couple families both employed working full-time 20.2 percent compared to Victoria 20.9 and Australia 21.6 both not working 19.2 percent compared to Victoria 19.5 in Australia 20.1 occupied private dwellings 14,035 
which is 92.1% compared to unoccupied 7.1%. Now, dwelling structure, separate house, 81.6% compared to Victoria, 73.2% and Australia, 72.9%. Flat or apartment, 1.1% compared to Victoria, 116 and Australia, 13.1%. So, where the dwelling structure is predominantly separate house. Number of bedrooms, one bedroom, 1.5% compared to Victoria, 5.1% and Australia, 5%. Two bedrooms, 14.3% compared to Victoria, 19.3% and Australia, 18.9%. Three bedrooms, now there's a lot of three bedrooms, 56.8% compared to Victoria, 44% and Australia, 41.1%. Four or more bedrooms, 24.8% compared to Victoria 28.8 and Australia 32.2. Now those who own their houses outright 28.4% compared to Victoria 32.3 and Australia 31%. Owned with mortgage 37% compared to Victoria 35.3 and Australia 34.5%. Those who rent 30.9 Victoria 28.7 and Australia 30.9 now with the weekly payments rent payments comparison median rent in Werribee is 277 compared to Victoria 325 and Australia 335 so the rent here is more affordable than average um, the mortgage monthly repayments is 1450 compared to Victoria 1728 and Australia 1755 so you probably be able to afford both the rent if you rent or the mortgage payments if you decide to get a mortgage. That's it for now guys. You can also follow me on Instagram, the Australian Suburbs. Enjoy the rest of the video.